So we're on Pentwyn Sands uh, still in Cornwall and I found some really interesting algae um, or seaweed. So this is bladder rack. You can see these really um, bulbous sort of structures. They're full of oxygen. Um, it absorbs the sunlight from photosynthesis, of course, and the air sacs contain mechanisms that allow the seaweed to reproduce. It's rich in quite a lot of chemicals, so we're looking at potassium, calcium, um, magnesium, that kind of thing. So they're really very healthy to eat in small amounts. Okay, and we can go across the rock. You can see there's some green algae that's been growing nicely on this rock too. So it's all exposed, of course, because of low tides. Um, and if you look, clearly, if I lift this one up, you can see, so it attaches to the rock very nicely there, just in one place, and then it grows out. And then this bit obviously floats out towards the sunlight. Um, that we covered over later on, actually, quite interestingly. There's something in there. There's a little shell. Look there. Little shell trapped. It's just a little snail. Actually, I'm going to put that in the water there. Don't want to hurt that one. And they're all happily growing here on the rock growing out, all in symbiosis. It's a little micro ecosystem. You can see here, if I lift this one up, this one's got more growing on it. So it's got quite a slimy kind of seaweed on as well. You can see, can't you? So there's a whole micro system here. There's actually another, I think that might be another type growing here. So there's plenty on this rock, all sorts really. If we lift this one back here. We've also got a little limpet hiding in there. There's a little limpet hiding. Some more snails, so we'll pop that back. Of course, this gets covered twice a day. So it's quite an exciting little ecosystem for what really is, you know, a tiny little rock, isn't it? So there you go, Pentwin Sands, Cornwall.